has the El Camino Warrior kick and warms up. Let's go ahead and talk about another sport with the net, tennis. Prep ball sports scene is well in its way, not a chance to warm up anymore. And the West Warriors are fighting their way through Bay League. Let's go ahead and talk to Nicole Flannery as she breaks down the rest of the season. More than anything else, the word that best describes the West Torrance girls tennis team is family. With a coach who used to be a player at the school herself, and a slew of athletes whose older siblings played on the team, there's no doubt that this squad is rich in tradition and sisterhood. This tradition is something that Coach Jessie Lee hopes to instill in her young squad. As a recent West Torrance tennis alum, she finds herself in a very unique position. She's now coaching some of the girls who were actually freshmen on her team when she played as a senior. Well, it was actually frustrating for a coach when we goofed around and then not take the time to practice when we should be. Coach Lee was an assistant last year under Coach Yu, who is still much involved in Warrior Nation and whose words of wisdom are held in high value by her former player and apprentice. With her, it was a lot of us more family, unity, and like harmony, just so like everyone's, we're all part of one team. The sense of togetherness is definitely something that's appreciated by the myriad of talented freshmen on the team this year. Right away they accepted me, so it was, it was awesome. I love our team. Gabriela Cruz Aedo may be a freshman, but she's no stranger to West Torrance tennis, as her brother also plays for the Warriors. And although Gabby has captured the number one single seed for her team, she has a desire to continue to improve. I don't know, I could play with the with top players and just hit the ball more follow through with more power and more consistency. So I'm gonna try to work on that with my coach. The West girls as a whole definitely have room to improve as they suffered a pretty hefty 17 to one loss to the Sea Kings. In singles play, three Palos Verdes players, all freshmen, Riley Morgan, Hannah Reese, and Nicole Scotton, swept each of their three singles matches. The only points scored by West came from Danica Hugh and Maddie Ganesh, who found themselves pretty upset after losing an intense first matchup. After a pep talk from their teammates though, they were able to collect a victory in doubles play. The final score of the match against PV might signal that this West team has many adjustments to make, but the support that they show for one another and their positive attitudes on the court is something simply to be admired. Thanks out to Nicole Flannery for that report. West might have lost to Palos Verdes, but they've got a bright future ahead of them, and Mandu Ganesh and Danica Hu scored the only point for West in the doubles play. It's time for the El Camino Warrior highlights. Will they get a chance to ring that bell? The Warriors don't have much to cheer about going into this matchup against Cerritos after losing their last two games. Let's jump right into the highlights. Cerritos ball nine plays into their first drive. They are fourth down and four yards to go. Quarterback Kane Wilson easily finds Carlo Arredondo in the end zone. Their two-point conversion would be good. They are up eight to nothing over El Camino. With six minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the first quarter, El Camino is trying to get another chance after the last one was riddled with penalties. Quarterback Omar Herrera finds Joe Don Duncan over the middle, and he will find the end zone. Ken McRoyal's two-point conversion is good. El Camino and Cerritos are tied at eight. Both El Camino's offense and defense would acquire at least 10 penalties alone in the first half, everything from holding to personal fouls. The Warriors will go into halftime down to Cerritos 22-8. But after, I'm sure, a great speech, they are ready and fired up to go. And Andre Buford rushes this ball for 19 yards. Beautiful run. But unfortunately, his team will produce another holding call, and Elko will have to start again on their own 33-yard line. Ten plays into this El Camino drive. They're marching down the Cerritos field. Quarterback Omar Herrera will find Joshua Brenton. He'll go down at about the five for a 15-yard gain. Next play, it's Peter Walton, and he rushes in nicely for the touchdown. It is now Cerritos 22, El Camino 14 after the PAT was good. El Camino would make more attempts to come back in this game, but they just couldn't hold off Cerritos. They lose 36 to 14. This loss to Cerritos finds El Camino fighting for a playoff spot in the National Northern Conference. It's that time of the show to let us know something we might not. Give us a call at 310-618-5762 or email us. Watch all of our shows on torrentca.gov 
And thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Torrance, have a good time.